Hi everybody, I'm Natalie with Missouri Star Quilt Company and welcome to Quilting 101. Today we're going to talk about quilting rulers and tools or templates. So the difference between a template and a tool or a ruler is that um, templates are typically something that you're going to cut around to get the shape and rulers are going to have measurements on them that tell you how many inches and um, and how many whatever they'll have degree lines also. So most of our rulers will have a 45 degree and this is typically for squaring up half square triangles and um, often a 60 degree line will exist on some of the rulers and that would be for making 60 degree triangles. So those that is what those lines are there for. Um, templates and tools won't have as many lines on them. Sometimes we put a little line around the edge. It's, it's typically a quarter of an inch, but it's mostly for decoration. You don't need to worry about that. <laughs> we just put them on there because they look pretty. Uh, we do try to put on um, a line down the middle for centering or fussy cutting. You can use that as a fold line if you're wanting to make something a different shape or doing a half cut for something. And um, we have a, a huge variety of templates that are great for all kinds of things, tumblers, hexagons, triangles, orange peels, apple cores, <laughs> as you see. So that is the, the main difference. Uh, sometimes, or well, every time that you receive a, a ruler from us and often from other companies, it'll look like it's printed upside down or backwards. And that is because there's a piece of paper protecting the front of the ruler. It protects it from um, burning when it's on the machine. It protects it a little bit from um, breaking during shipping and it keeps that front side nice and smooth so that you don't have any scratches, you know. That is also easily peeled off. Just find a, find a corner. I'm gonna try and demo it really quick here. We'll see. Sometimes it's a little fiddly. You might wanna um, score the edge, but it should just peel right off. And then you'll be able to look through the top of your ruler and see all of the markings right side up, looking clear and beautiful as they should be. Uh, we etch all of our rulers instead of printing them because um, my mom, in her quilting history, her most loved rulers, the ink would rub off as she used them over time. So she wanted all of her tools to be etched. So that's why we do that. All right. It's fiddly, but you only have to do it once. <laughs> so there you go. Now your 10 inch square ruler is printed right side up and there's no worries about it looking backwards and not being see-through. Okay, so now that we know the difference between a template and a ruler, um, let's talk about the rulers that I think are kind of essential if you're just starting out and you have no idea what to grab. Um, we'll set aside the tools for now because these are kind of for other, other types of projects. And if you just wanna do some basic quilting, you're gonna want um, a square for squaring. And we have them in several different sizes. I would say the 10 or the 12 is gonna be your most versatile. They're going to, or 12 and a half, sorry. This is a 12 and a half. That is a very common number for um, finished quilt block sizes. A lot of them end up 12 and a half. So this is super versatile. And you'll be able to cut down to all the other measurements inside just by putting, um, the way that you put your fabric, uh, your ruler on the fabric. So if I was going to take this 12 and a half inch square and I wanted to cut a five inch square, I would use this ruler just like this lined up in the corner to cut my little five inch square. So this is a super versatile tool because you can get all of those different sizes, whether they're whole or half sizes all the way throughout. It also has a great 45 inch line going both directions um, so that you'll be able to square up pinwheels or half square triangles, all kinds of things. It's super versatile. If you wanted to do, um, if you want a ruler for cutting your strips, which is going to be another thing that you'll do quite a lot in, in uh, quilting, you'll be cutting a strip with the fabric and then sub cutting it. So you're going to want some of these longer rulers. They're a little bit easier to use than a square because squares are, they're just bulky. And um, if you're cutting the, the width of your fabric, you want something longer. So if you don't want to fold your fabric and you don't feel very comfortable with that yet, you're going to want a 5x24 because typically your fabric is going to be um, about 20 to, to 23 inches widthwise when you're cutting it and that will easily go that length. You'll need a larger cutting mat to start with and that's what, that's what this is here. If you're comfortable folding your fabric in half, 
That's super easy to do. You're just gonna wanna make sure that everything lines up nice and straight. If you keep your fold line straight on your mat with a straight line, that will help you avoid getting an elbow in your cuts. And so then either one of these will work great. And the reason that I love these two rulers is because they're 15 inches long, which means you can also cut diagonally on a 10 inch square. And we do that a lot in our quilting, um, especially if you're a beginner and you're using pre-cuts. These are both very versatile tools. I love this one because it's two and a half, which is the same width as your jelly roll strips. And this one is five, same width as um, your charm packs and your charm squares. So these are great. You can get one or the other or both, but they're, uh, they're awesome tools to have. And you would just line that up and cut straight across your width of fabric, just like usual. So those are the ones that I would recommend if you're just starting out. Um, if you wanted to fussy cut, I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. So typically when you're fussy cutting, you're using a smaller piece of fabric. And so I would, um, I would probably grab a smaller tool just because it makes it easier to see what's inside. And I'll show you with, um, with a tumbler as well. So here, this, this has a, a little X, so it shows you the exact center. And you, there are actually a ton of tools on the market that are just for fussy cutting. They maybe have less stuff in the middle so you can see your design. But when you line it up, you get to decide, you know, and this is, this is pretty standard fabric. It's not super interesting. Sometimes you're cutting like a spaceship or a dinosaur or a, I don't know, a unicorn. And so that gets really fun because the characters show different things. But you're just going to center wherever you want your pattern to be. Um, and, and use this to cut it out. So if I wanted this particular flower to be right in the middle, I could just cut it this direction, and that's what fussy cutting is. So kind of a cool little hack to throw in there so you know what that means and what to do with it. <laughs> so to fussy cut using a tool, um, a lot of these are gonna also have cross marks on them, and that's because we've done this before and we found that it was a really helpful thing to add. So whether we had it originally or not, we've added it to the tool. And so now our tumbler has a cross mark because we wanted to make sure that we knew where exact middle was. So that's, again, if you're fussy cutting this flower, you're gonna line that up right with the exact middle and then cut around it. And that will, will land in the center of the piece that goes into your quilt. So I hope this has helped to understand the differences between quilting templates and rulers and that you've enjoyed this episode on Quilting 101 from Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.